Steve, let's become larger than life. Maybe even the size of a giant. Steve, you and I are checking out early access to a game that kind of caught my eye a while ago. I'm talking about Giants Uprising. This is a very unique title in the, in the fact that you are playing as a giant. The base of the story is like we only had a couple hours for the preview build of this game. And what happened in the very short time was that humans and giants were living together harmoniously. And as the whole years kind of went along, the giants lost a few their powers became weaker and then that's when the humans decided to be jerks and overthrow them and that's exactly what happened <laughs> and now the giants have turned into slaves and you get a mixed match of what's going on but then in the end as the story starts to get going at the beginning of the game you are a human with a companion of a giant and you are slavery in the arena and you escape that's the premise of what's going on and then and then you're on the road i think i nailed that ac like dude you did spot on that's, <laughs> there's a little bit going on. okay what's going on here but the story concept i thought was awesome like your whole race is as a giant is starting to kind of get wiped from the face of the earth right and then you're getting partnered with this human who's trying to be that who's essentially on the run as well as the giants but it's hard to hide as a giant but steve as a giant i didn't yeah. feel like i was the biggest character there you know what i mean i wanted to be i wanted that larger than life that i am this massive massive being now you have this little human who's kind of giving you orders like who sits on your shoulder right which is cool but i do i couldn't even see him because yeah. the camera is so far out like you think third person perspective but from a distance almost yes. and you're going through and you're demolishing everything overall dude there's definitely some hiccups here in early access to the <laughs> game there's definitely yeah. a couple things going on some triggers weren't allowing me to access pass throughs for doors and things like that but the overall experience and i think where i'm if i, if I can envision where they're envisioning varsov is i think they have something here steve and yeah. i enjoyed it but i had a couple hiccups holding me back what was your experience with the game Oh, first off, I will say this is not for the faint-hearted on the language, <laughs> yeah, as we mentioned no. before. Uh, for the English language, if you can think of the worst taboo words you can use that some people might find offensive, yeah. it's in this game. So it's, just be warned. It's uh, I don't think it necessarily needed it, but I can no. see where they're getting like, the period of time and the way sure. they talk kind of thing. But don't play it if you've got young kids ar around or people are easily offended. <laughs> but I do like the story. I do yeah. like the beginning of the narrative of when he gives it the big spill of like living in harmonious, you know, together humans. And he starts laughing. He goes, that doesn't happen. This is really <laughs> what happens. Yeah. Like, and that's what you touched on. Giants, um, they lose their power. They don't become as smart. Um, and they are used as slaves and they're betrayed. Yeah. And, but... I did have issues at the very start. I did find it a bit like the Dark Souls. I mean, first off, I did start with mouse and keyboards. Sure. And because it was janky, I got three hits and then you're dead. And yeah. then waiting two minutes to load up again, I found that so frustrating because I didn't even realize it. I thought it might be a glitch at first. Uh, yeah, that load screen is so long, Steve. I'm like, I'm, I'm mashing my buttons going, did I just lock up my computer? Like, am I frozen? Yeah. And then it kicked in. I'm like, oh, wow, that's a long load time. There's a lot of optimization still ahead of this game. There's no doubt yeah. about that. Because, yeah, we sat there. What do you figure? A minute and a half, two minutes almost, waiting for us to get into the yeah. game. As it's like, whoo, man. And so that's that only one life as well. You only start, <laughs> you only have the one life. And yeah. game mechanics was cool, like it, the sluggish move of the giant moving around. Yeah, and like I said, sense. from a bird's eye view. But the controls felt sluggish as well because every time I, I got two hits and I tried to get a bit of meat just to sort of build Heal up the yourself. energy, yeah, I'd be dead because it was so slow just to eat like a giant <laughs> would, taking his time. I get two hits and then that two-minute load screen. So I did have issues on that and textures as well. 
Because there's one issue. Yep, yeah, I couldn't move, and then all of a sudden this wall come up. I'm next to the castle wall. It's like, oh, because beforehand all you saw was the landscape. Yeah. And again, I got caught on a few other objects as well when you're trying to run away. And I, I did have some issues, but but getting away from that is early access. I yes. do like the idea of just destroying things. <laughs> it's so much fun. Especially when you have all the army coming towards you, and they're like little ants. <laughs> and you just like run through a boy squish, 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 and you hear all the noises like, ah! <laughs> so I, d I did enjoy that, but I'm still concerned if is this all the game has to offer? Just destroying things, because it is hard. Well, there is that, right? And I kind of, I get what you're saying, because in that short period of time, I'm like, okay, what else are we going to do within this game? Because I've crushed one building after another, and that's fun. I've stomped on a bunch of people. Like, it's running, you, right at the beginning of the game, you're running through a crowd to get away, yeah. and you just squish, squish. And, and like, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty satisfying. And then, but dude, a couple hours in, I'm still doing the same thing. And it's just kind of, yeah. uh-oh. Like, uh-oh, I don't know if this is enough. Like, are they going to expand this? I'm following the story. I'm hooked on the story, yeah. Steve. I think the story yes. is definitely a, this cool concept. And it hasn't even been done before. And I think that's the best part about it. The story is really good. And then you get these cut scenes that are told in this, uh, almost like a graphic novel narrative yeah. scenario. And I think that's one of the biggest downfalls. Dude, the one bad guy from the arena right off the get-go, I'm like, I can't stand you. Dude, I, I just, I didn't like his voice. I didn't, his demeanor, his whole presentation. I just wasn't believing it, right? Yeah. It, it just sounds like you belonged in a cartoon. And I was just like, nah, this isn't, no. I mean, kind of, it's been a hit of a miss, right? It's kind of, it's got highs, but yeah, it's got its lows. But again, early access, Steve. So if we're going to wrap this up though, dude, honestly, are you going to recommend this game or not recommend it? I would like to see where this game goes. I mean, they could still implement an upgrade system or, or I don't know, something else. Yeah. But for the moment, I'm going to say, I did have fun. And like I said, the story has got me. And, and as you know, I'm a story driven kind of yeah. person. I love those kind of games. So sure. I'm going to go for a recommend. I see. I see where you're coming from. I think it's got a lot still ahead of itself. For right now, I'm not going to recommend. I recommend that you hold off actually taking a look at this game and wait for the development cycle to kind of take up a little bit more time and a little bit more polish and then from there yeah check it out but right now i say hold off both drew and myself had a split decision whether to recommend or not recommend on giants uprising but one thing we did agree on is that it has a lot of potential with its unique story and vision for the game. You can also tell this is in early access and hopefully on release the glitches will be sorted and some more content in the game to make you want to stick around.